All right, also it was bound to happen sooner or later. Today we're gonna talk about the first mod I did on my Corvette that I don't like. Hey everybody, so if you aren't already a subscriber, hit that subscribe button to find out more about what it's like to daily drive a C5 Corvette. So today's episode is going to be a bit odd. I'm actually going to be using footage that I did about a month ago when I installed the lettering kit from Corvette Mods. So the actual brand of the lettering kit was from Eurosport Daytona, as you can see in the footage of me putting it onto the fuel rail covers. So all things considered, I was actually really happy with the quality of the product. I thought it was pretty good. However, I did feel it was a little pricey. It cost me about $65 uh, all out the door. That's with shipping and everything, uh, which I did think was a little high for a lettering kit. However, there's a few things right away that I didn't notice, and I'm going to just throw in the clips from when I said it then. All right, so I'm going to stop right here and I'm going to quickly mention this. Uh, if you're doing this and you don't have a second set, I'm actually glad I started with the passenger side because I have a second passenger side at home that if worse comes to worse, I can throw it on the Corvette. You're not going to want to use this alcohol prep pad. So I'm just going to show you right there. That's actually the red paint coming up and off of the cover. Um, yeah, I'm just going to mention that and uh, I would suggest not using that. But nonetheless, let's get these stickers on. All right, so with it all set up, there's a couple things I don't like. Um, one, the lettering isn't cut perfect up top, which is to be expected. I mean, they're not going to go flush, but um, there's quite a bit of red left within the gap, and I don't think I could have centered them any better. Um, they definitely won't fill the lettering in. Maybe if I centered them a little bit more, you'd get an even red all the way around, and that... It would just be what you would deal with. But initial reaction is, eh, I don't know. I like this. I do like the bottom here where it fills in the 5.7. I think that looks really nice. Um, the lettering, though, for the Corvette is just mediocre at best. The final thing I do want to say, though, is there is two things I really liked about it. Overall, first of all, the color is a little bit darker against the Electron Blue. This is probably closer to a navy. Uh, probably Le Mans Blue would be a lot closer to this color than uh, the Electron Blue is. However, I didn't really mind that color difference. I thought it still looked really good, all things considered. The second thing I liked about it was the 5.7, right? I don't understand why it was even on there without a different color background or it was painted like the Corvette lettering in the first place by General Motors. But with the blue in there, I thought that 5.7 really pops and looks really good. So I was actually really happy with that. However, all things considered, I don't think that was enough to make me want to keep it on there. So where am I going from here? Well, as you guys know, a few months ago, I changed my oil pressure sending unit, and I also put in an analog gauge under the hood. I actually really like the way that looks. As such, I had to cut a hole in the fuel rail cover on the driver's side. I wasn't really happy with the way that fuel rail cover came out, so I ended up buying a second set of fuel rail covers used, uh, in great shape actually, and uh, recut that hole for the driver's side. Luckily, that means I now have an extra passenger side, so I'm just going to pop the passenger side off with the blue lettering and pop the replacement on. So with all things considered, what do you guys think? Is this a mod you've done? Is this something you like on your car? Again, not every mod is for everybody, so and just in my case, it just wasn't a winner today. But I knew it was going to happen eventually, and I got to be happy that I only spent 65 bucks on it. So I will see you guys on the next episode, and before you leave, remember to hit that like and subscribe button.